In today's sermon, we're going to talk about something that is simple. And the simple concept is that every human being across the world has the opportunity to hear God. And every human being all over the world has the right to practice a faith that makes their heart grow for God. Every human being all over the world has the right to access any religion that works for them, provided that religion is not spewing hatred all over the world and not raising children who will kill every person in the world. You see, there's a few religions that God will tell people he is not pleased with. And we've seen that because Christian houses have been going after cross-cultural relationships with them. But I can tell you, it's not going to work. It's not going to work because what those children are doing are coming in as predators already and openly interfering with your world. Now, if the person is older and mature in their 40s and 50s and they've lived a long life and they've had enough... Uh, challenges and enough strife and even had their own spouse or their own wife then they have a better understanding of America and the responsibilities of an adult citizen but a 20 year old has done nothing in life besides been a student and a 20 year old has never had the responsibilities of being a parent usually not always but sometimes most times but in truth how you live your life and at what level of lifestyle that you choose to live your life begins in the early planning and stages of a child's mind of how does a person become an adult that is successful how does an individual become a performing productive and profitable individual and it is an abomination to the Lord when parents do not take the time to read one book on correct parenting to help a child become loved and successful by the Lord's standards. You see, the Lord's standards are not your personal standards, are they? Yet you like to play that you don't have to care about God today. How arrogant are we to think that we are above God with all this diversity? How arrogant are we that we allow reverse racism to flourish with perversity how dare we are the people of the world that allow any type of hatred to consume our world how dare we are the people of the earth who just can't stop murdering the soul of everybody we're with you see insecurity is one thing impropriety is another and absolute charity is something else but charity for people is not the issue today. The liars of America do not get their life in any way. They're so busy interfering with people's rights. They're so busy trying to be the player with all the might that you look at them and go, Really? Show me a successful businessman that looks like you, dresses like you, and behaves like you. Show me a man who's got a family who is happy and content and a wife that's fully satisfied and you know every way in terms of her emotions, in terms of her psychology, in terms of her intelligence, in terms of her spirituality, and eventually in terms of her sexuality, which is a part of your responsibility today. And openly, I'm going to keep pissing on your fucking company because you have employees that are wholly, horribly trained today. They're making a man suffer in their game today. Yesterday, I went across the street to buy myself a new sweatshirt because it's getting colder out there and I can't seem to get the holder of my property to acknowledge that those are my possessions, not theirs. And openly, when I bought my sweatshirt, somebody stole my water. So they also stole my time and they stole my dime. And lo and behold, just as always, a white boy employee in his 20s walked out the door and then he thought he was clever to hide around the corner and openly, he heard me Get rebuke him in the name of the Lord and then he waved at me like everything was okay but wasn't a black manager that was pissing on me throughout the store with her employees that day all I'm there to do is buy and shop and buy what I choose for my fashion not yours and in America we have those rights but let's get back to the sermon doesn't the Lord have the right to be a benefactor of your life in every way or do you have the right to be blessed by God today or are you giving yourself an illusion about how you are the gift from God in every way 
You see, I know a girl whose name actually means in Gaelic, gift of the Lord, child of God. And the hardest part about being a person of the Lord who can hear the Lord today is recognizing the consistent patterns and the consistent messages that the Holy Ghost or the angels around you or your pixies or fairies or whatever you want to call those that are, are abounding around you in the spirit realm is saying to you that this isn't right, that this isn't a match, or this is what's expected, or this is what can be had. And openly, so many people turn off that channel that they never hear the Lord. And their life is not in any balance. Their life is not in any celebration of God. Their life is not in any worship of any way. And all these people are saying, you love God? You're odd. 